I'll see. I'll take it. No, you can't, Koba. You're hurt. Let Baraka take the penalty. Hurt or not, I'm still the best penalty taker on this team. Don't be so stubborn. Don't you want us to win? How could they beat us? We had a penalty. I'll be mad if they've beaten us. We need to get the leg of yours treated. We'll figure out the scores later. Ugh. I'll be mad if they've beaten us. Koba, you win some, you lose some. Deal with it. There's no excuse for missing a penalty. Penalty always guarantees a goal. Dude, good code keepers can even save the best penalties. Why are you guys leaving? Is the game over? I'm done with this. We missed the easiest goal ever. Don't be a bad sport. Keep on fighting or you'll never win. They want to take advantage of us because our striker Cobra's hurt. If we keep playing, they'll beat us and we'll never leave it down. You can't just rely on one player. Go back and play as a team. True words, Ngadere. Let's show them what we're made of. The Cocotrons are done with their power. And they're back with new energy. Baraka's got his kit on, ready to play. And it looks like Kidochi is ready to come on and go. And we are underway. We're going to have a ball. Koba, how are you feeling? What happened at the hospital? Turns out I broke my leg. And it really hurts. Did we win? When I got injured, we got a penalty. No, we lost. Just after you left. Ugh, I bet it's already gone to their heads. If I'd been there, they wouldn't have won. Koba, you'll get well soon enough. And then we'll have a rematch and beat them. But what happened? You know what? They didn't play as a team. That's why Matibwa won. Ugh, cheese and rice. Listen, yeah? Playing football is not as easy as eating <laughs> pilau. <laughs> Their team was so well organized. Well, organize yourselves then. It's no fun losing all the time. We'll try to. Yeah, you guys need to train harder. Or better yet, just let me play. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I score goals like Casillas. Casillas is a goalkeeper. He doesn't score. Listen, you. Nobody likes a know-it-all. <laughs> Guess who? Mama Ndege, you're heavy. Okay, I'll find a new patch. You are pro at football announcing. What did you learn, Mama Ndege? It's just one of my many talents. It is important to be humble. That's why I don't like to show off. Stop bragging. She isn't bragging, Kibana. She really is a talented bird. That's right, Kidochu. You better recognize. Mama Ndege, my leg hurts. I saw. Is it broken? It is. That huge boy kicked my leg instead of the ball. I wanted to cry like a kid and caught in a door. <laughs> Don't worry, it will heal. If I'd hurt my hand, I still would have played and scored that penalty. Then we would have won. So true. Better to hurt your hand than your legs. We need our legs for football. What? But imagine if you had no hands. How would you write? Now, kids, there are people with no hands, but they have legs. Their legs do the work of their hands. Others don't have legs, so they use their hands to work. We should respect the people with disabilities. They don't give up. They do incredible things we can't even imagine. That's true, Mama Ndege. I don't really care about other body parts. All I care about is my mouth for eating pilau. <laughs> Living without a mouth would be unbearable. I don't know. Better not to have eyes. 
A blind person can still kick the ball. But eyes are important. Without eyes, you can't see the ball. And how would we have gotten here without eyes? Wide shot of the forest, close up on the mushrooms. Director Koba works magic with his camera, taking videos that touch the heart and mind. <laughs> Mama Ndege, you're just the one I need. Hey, what is it, Koba? How can I help? Mama Ndege, hey, do you know? You're just the smartest person, or bird, or anyone around Kokotoa. So you know, I was hoping you might uh, help me out by writing a script for a really good movie. And I direct it. Koba! I know what you are trying to do. Want to win that video camera? You know, if I work really hard, I could write a really good movie script. But then I'd win the camera! <laughs> but Mama Ndege, all I want to be is a filmmaker and I really need that camera. There's just no way I can write a script and win. I can't write. Baby, you can't write yet. And of course you can't yet because you have to write yet. So go, get out your pen. Start writing and try, try again. Ah, all right. But it would be easier if somebody just wrote it for me. <sighs> hey, Koba, what's wrong? I'm trying to write a script to win the camera competition, but I just can't seem to write, Kibena. Oh, I just can't. Do you want me to read what you've got? Maybe I can give you some ideas. Mm. You can't read it. It's horrible. I'd be embarrassed. It's okay. No one's first try is great. You just gotta keep writing. You'll get it eventually. But nothing good will come out. Koba, let's take a walk. Come on, sometimes you just need to walk to clear your mind. Then when we come back, you can try again. Kibena, I really need that camera. But it's gonna take a miracle for me to even write something that can win. Oh, what I really need is that miracle. Dr. Nondo, Miracle Maker. Solve your problems quick and easy. Make your dreams come true. Visit Dr. Nondo across the stream, through the drum circle, up the skipping stairs. Find me if you dare. Woohoo! Let's go! Let's get the others to help. Sounds like a challenge for all of us. Ew! We can't cross that. Amani, of course we can't if we don't try. Whoa! to be a filmmaker and there's this competition to win a video camera but you have to write a script and I can't write <laughs> so you have come for a miracle yes I need it so much enter if you dare I am the 
great, Dr. Nondo. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Well, I guess I don't need that thing anymore. Ah, so you need a miracle, huh? You can't write, huh? But your hands look perfectly fine. Eh, why can't you write? It's not my hands, it's my brain. I just can't find the words. And have you tried looking harder? Huh? Have you, have you tried looking harder to find the words? Why all that trouble to see me then, eh? I came here for a miracle. It's a miracle you made it here, you know? No one else ever has. Hmm, no Really? One. It's a wind turbine. It'll spin in the wind and generate electricity that we can use to power the new computer at school. So why isn't it spinning? I guess there isn't enough wind here. Hmm, well I think I can help with that. Uh, oops. Ah, uh, this is hopeless. I feel hopeless. What's hopeless? Me, trying to build a wind turbine. That's hopeless. I spent all morning on this thing. I spent hours. And it didn't work at all. Um, actually it did for about four seconds before the leaves fell off. Ah, uh, I guess that's not enough. Hours of work destroyed in four seconds. With just a puff, our dreams of computing are gone. Psh! Hours? Hours? You think that doing something new and hard takes hours? It takes days, weeks, months, even years of failing to do great things. And it sounds to me, Koba, like you're trying to do a great thing here. He is. He's trying to bring electricity to Kokotoa Primary School. Well, you have a clear goal, and that's the right place to start. Now you just need to keep trying and learning and applying what you learn. And you know what, Koba? What? You've got to fail to learn. <laughs> No way, Mama Ndege, you're just saying that. But can you imagine actually failing? Like you, Mama Ndege, the super duper math bird, failing a math test? <laughs> I don't have to imagine it, Koba. I've done it many, many times. You failed? Kigo, pay attention. So we have two ones and we carry one ten over to the tens place. I would sit on that windowsill every day trying to understand the symbols and numbers. I'd try the tests and I'd fail. Again and again, until I got a question right. So you failed and failed, then you didn't fail. <laughs> well, technically I still failed. One out of ten is still enough. But how could you stand it? Why didn't you just quit and, you know, stick to bird things? I knew I wanted to learn math so I could help the bird community. You know, we're always running out of seeds or missing our destination because we flew at the wrong angle. My poor Auntie Dodo once went six degrees off course and... Well, that's a 
long story. But my point here is that you've got to have grit. Huh? You know, grit. Perseverance. Stick to it, Ivness. Exactly. So tell me, Koba, what did you learn about your wind turbine? Um, well, when the winds blew and pushed the blade... I've been trying to explain this to Kiduchu for ages, but she never wants to listen. I'm listening now, Dad. You see, the water turns the wheels as it flows from the top to the bottom. And then the generator converts the energy from that motion into electrical energy. Electrical energy? You mean electricity? Exactly. So that's what we need. A generator. Hmm, that's going to be tough. But I think if I'm gritty enough, I can figure out how to make one. Lucky for you. This one is real and it works. Wow, thanks so much. Keep up the hard work and don't give up. Now go get us some electricity. Oh, it doesn't work. It doesn't work yet, Kiduchu. And we can't give up now. We're so close to having electricity. I can feel it. <laughs> Actually, that was Toto Tembo. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Datura. We're improving our design and we need feedback. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Kids, I am so impressed. You've put in some really hard work and it's about to pay off. Let's get it started. Uncle T, let it go. Woo! Yeah! The blades spin and the gears connect them to the generator, which converts the motion into electricity. To charge the battery, which powers the computer. Ah, it's working! Kids, it's getting late. Let's leave it to charge overnight, then it'll be ready in the morning. This is great! There's so much wind! The turbine must be spinning away! No! Aw oh, man, it must have been hit by lightning! This is just another setback. We can't give up. This is a test of our grit. It's a failure, but we've got to learn from it. Yeah, we learned that putting a big tall wind turbine on top of the tallest hill in Kokotoa won't work. It'll just get hit by lightning again. Maybe not. Look, the generator survived, and we still have wires and gears. Look guys, the end goal was never to create a wind turbine, it was to create electricity. So we need to get creative. We need to find another way. Well, but how? Uh-oh, looks like you got a little too much wind. I have an idea. Let's all go get our bikes. All set, go! Ninety-eight percent, keep going. Ninety-nine, you 
we're almost there. Come on. 100! Well, Koba? <laughs> Koba, you know what? Some people think success is just about achievements. But the real secret is failing. We can learn a lot from our failures. It's the beginning of our new journey to success. You understand that? Eh? Yeah. Hard or easy, stick at it, finish it, that's a grit. Never give up on your goals, stick at it, that's grit. If you fail, don't you quit, the secret is to have grit. Never give up on your goals, stick at it, that's grit. If you fail, don't you quit, the secret is to have grit. potatoes. Time to go and cook them. Mmm, Kibana, could I have some of that? Aka, Aka. Koba, what's that about? Why are there so many people? <laughs> Kibana, that's the new video hall. Ah, I smell the sweet scent of money. Now that we've got a video hall, I can show my film for the very first time. Just wait, I'm gonna be rich. Koba, famous filmmaker. Oh, yeah. But you'll share with me, yeah? Your best friend, yeah? Ah, Kibena, you just go cook your potatoes. And then? Then, you'll be full. Ha! Ah. Okay, here's your tea. Oh, man. What about the straw, man? I can't drink tea without a straw, man. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh, uh-huh. A better tomorrow is important for every child. Hey, Kids, that? tell us what needs to be done to make a better tomorrow for us all. Form a group with your friends and send us your suggestions for how to make a better tomorrow. The winners will win a trip to parliament. Koba, Kiduchu, but Koba.
<coughs> okay, we'll show you tomorrow evening. I'll add it to the schedule. Yes! And since you're just a kid, you'll only pay me 10,000 to show your film. 10,000? Yep. That's the price for a student. Aren't you supposed to be paying me to show my film? Look it, it's costing me money here. How do you think we keep the TV on? Uh, with electricity. And what is electricity? Energy. Energy? Yeah, energy. Energy is just the ability to do work. Wait, kid, this is a generator, not just energy. Your generator just changes the energy from one form to another. It burns fuel and turns that energy into electricity. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, this energy you're talking about, I have to buy it. That fuel doesn't come for free. I bought it. So you've got to pay to show your film. Shots? Aha! Uh, we're running a race. A meeting? <coughs> Studying? Oh. Uh, I don't understand you. Let's go to Kimena. She'll understand you. But <coughs> there's <coughs> there's <coughs> uh <-huh. coughs> Maybe he has the flu. There's because he's inhaling dirty air. <laughs> Koba, what did you do that for? Didn't you say the smoke from the coal is making Uncle T sick? Yes. That's why Bibi put the chimney in, so the smoke can escape outside. Uncle T shouldn't stick his head in there. How are we supposed to eat if we don't burn charcoal to cook? We need to burn charcoal for the energy that cooks our food. And I'm cooking food to eat, so I can get energy for my body. Don't worry, Kimena. We'll just eat the potatoes like this. Why do we even cook them anyway if the smoke dirties the environment? That's why Uncle T can't talk. We eat mangoes without cooking them. Koba! Oh. <coughs> uh, station! The bus station! Oh, you want to go to the bus station? Energy. Energy is what made Uncle T lose his voice. Look, he's given up trying to talk. I don't know. Life without energy? It's impossible. <coughs> but it can be harmful. will make us sick. Let's go tell them to stop. <coughs> Don't get on the bus. It burns fuel and pollutes the air around us. And that could make us sick. It's too bad for you. I can't be late for class. Hey, I'm taking my baby to the clinic. 
Looks like people really do need buses. Okay, so we need buses so we can travel. But do we really need to keep the engine running when the bus is standing still? Good idea, Kibana. We don't need to keep the engine running. If you can't get rid of the problem, let's at least reduce it. <coughs> <coughs> don't worry, Uncle T. We're gonna figure out what you're saying. But first, we need your help. Excuse me, sir. Could you please turn off your engine? Turn it off? And then what? Push the bus to town? Are you driving now? No, I'm waiting for passengers. Well, how about you turn the engine off while you wait for the passengers? Then start it when you're ready to leave. Huh? That is not a bad idea. And I can save fuel too. trying to tell us but there's <coughs> competition uh, a competition for what <coughs> man how are we going to know what the competition is for if uncle T can't talk if we could just figure out a way to get his voice back maybe some tea yeah a throat soothing tea. Mze Kigo has the perfect tea leaves. Come on, I'll show you. But Kibena, how do you know if that tea works in giraffes? Hey, move over. I'm soaking up the sun to grow. Ha! Huh. Everyone else is trying to escape the sun, and you're trying to find it. I'm after solar energy, my friend. I soak up the heat from the sun and it helps me to grow. So why don't you just grow next to a fire? Then you can grow even if it's not sunny. No, burning things is dirty energy. Dirty energy? So there's dirty energy and non-dirty energy? Yes, there is dirty energy and clean energy. Clean energy is the energy which doesn't dirty the air or harm our health, like energy from the wind from the sun or oh, water. Ah, so it's dirty energy, like the energy we get from burning coal and fuel that creates smoke, which makes us cough. Exactly. Dirty energy can also make the air dirty. So at Kibena's place, they stop the dirty energy from making them sick by sending the smoke out through the chimney. But it will still make the air dirty. Now, you humans could never stop using dirty energy. You've gotten way too used to it. But there must be another way. Yes, there is. You can use clean energy like I do from the sun. But you've got to be willing to try something new and to give up some of what you are used to. Let's go! We gotta get moving. Uncle T says we're gonna be late. Bye, Juicy! Bye.